last group to leave the field as a coach. When did you start that? It's, don't remember, to be honest <laughs> with you. It just, there's a lot of things that cover with the offensive line. I've always felt like they're gonna, they can only get so much in the meeting room, you know, and looking at, looking at the uh, the tapes in there and sitting down and talking. I've always <clears throat> felt guys had a chance to learn more by walking through it, seeing it, you know, seeing it in front of them as opposed to, you know, just watching it on a chalkboard or, <coughs> or on a video screen. Mm -hmm. Your group really seems to embrace that whole thing too. They seem to take a lot of pride in it. They, they do because, you know, they, they know that there's a lot of different ways to learn and you got to use all, all the ways that you have, studying your notebooks, you know, the, the schemes, watching the film and then walking through, or, you know, prior to practice, where, you know, some guys learn better, uh, you know, in one of those three, just about everybody learns better by walking through it. You know, you just, it's just more realistic. How's Ronnie Stanley, what kind of spring has he had for you? Really been impressed with his spring. He's, he's really taken his game up a notch you know, from a standpoint of how intense he is and how hard he's working, you know, to be a good player on all the details. But I just see his, his effort to improve has been outstanding. Coach, Coach had mentioned that uh, Christian would be hard to unseat at that spot. But, uh, you know, when you look at Hanretti, you look at Hagerty, two guys that got a lot of experience, do you still see that being the case? Or, or have they improved quite a bit this spring to where they can challenge Christian for a spot? Well, they'll, they'll definitely challenge him. But, you know, Christian was playing really well <clears throat> when he was in there. And then, you know, coming off that back surgery that he had, he had made a great recovery and uh, was really strong where he was really dealing with that all through training camp a year ago and uh, he, he felt like a new man out there and so so I think coming back he'll be he'll be tough to, to unsee but he'll definitely be challenged. You've coached at a lot of places you know in, in college would you say this group that you have right now is, is maybe the most talented you've, you've been around? We, we've got a we've got a good we've got a good group um, I'm not sure I'd say that but it's close. Considering you, you, the two Martins are gone, Lombard's not out there, Chris Watt is gone. I mean, where where is the chemistry of this offensive line, or are you not as concerned with that in the spring, and more concerned with just individual development? Yeah, I mean, we're we're that's not we're anywhere near where it needs to be. It's, it's definitely out of whack. We've been throwing guys all over the place, but I think in the in the end, it'll serve us really well. That'll be something specific for training camp. We'll need to get done. We got to get them in there working with each other and the same guys in the same spots and see some progress there. But in the long run, what we've gone through this spring will really benefit the football team because we've had guys pretty much everywhere. Um, after Matt Haggerty at center and Mark Harrell at center, everybody else has played everywhere else. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes they, they, well, they did struggle and have struggled with it but it also helps you be a better football player because it gives you a much better understanding of the whole picture. So yes, we're concerned about the ability to function as a unit, but I think we'll have time to get that solved in August.